fellow comic enthusiasts, welcome back to HC Comics, your gateway to the colorful and captivating world of comics. Today, we're embarking on the next exciting chapter of this comic series together, wishing you all some relaxing moments as we dive in to HC Comics Adventure, returning to the main developments of the story. In this episode, we start with the scene. Teenage Mercenary 81. The mask is covering his face, but I know it's H.I.M. What is he doing here? Did he really come to rescue me? Well, well, D-U-S-H-I-K thinks he can play games with me? Get rid of this bastard and find the others outside. Bring Du Shik Cha to me. Yes, sir, that little weasel, pretending like he didn't know while waiting right outside. One hell of a fighter, this kid. He made Anatole pull out his knife. No one mentioned someone like you working for Du Shik. Why did you come for me? Turns out this concerns me too. Huh? And, even if it didn't, there's plenty of reasons to rescue you. They help me out a lot. Saved me from a mess once too. He says they help him at work a lot. Come work for me. You're too good to be wasting away under Du Shik Cha. Hell, even this country's too small for you, isn't it? Come with me and you'll be free to do run as wild as you want. What is it, doesn't appeal to you? Well, that's a shame. Then it's time to die. Funny, isn't it? Be as quick as you like with a punch, but a bullet will always get you. It was real hard to get used to when I first went overseas. So I understand that you're flustered right now. I guess you've never fired one in real combat. To be so foolish as to shoot a moving target with one hand. Teenage Mercenary 82. Who the hell is this bastard? And how? How can he have such a deadly look in his eyes? But you won't stop G.I.L.S.U. Kong with a single jab. You're a dead man now, motherfucker. He wiped out Jin Su Kong and his men. Jin Su Kong. Boss, get high on SEO. Yes, sir. What the hell is going on? 
I just got a text. Huh? Thanks for doing this. Of course. No way a beast like that would be working for you. Jin Su Kong. Was this really necessary? What kind of a question is that? What else are we gangsters supposed to do? With you out of the way, I can get my life back in this country again. You expect me to rot away like you by keeping the peace and staying loyal? After all the shit I did for us. Why won't he let me run that joint? Did you hear about Du Shik setting up shop soon? Why would he do that when he's clearly the next in line? Everyone likes him better than Jin Su and knows he's better at business. Sure, but I heard he doesn't want to make trouble with GILSU. He's gonna leave all this behind to stay on good terms with GILSU. Man, Du Shik's a man of honor, isn't he? That's why I'm thinking of going with him when he leaves. And I'm not the only one thinking that right now. Then maybe you oughta count me in too. You're still barely making ends meet, aren't you? Giving it all out to your men in the name of loyalty and B-R-O-O-T-H-E-R-H-O-O-D. Avoiding conflict with other factions for the sake of peace. Then go get a fucking desk job and stop giving US gangsters a bad name. You're the one giving us a bad name. What? It doesn't matter how bad it gets. You're not supposed to go stabbing one of your own men in the back like this. Sure, I know you'll never understand that. But that doesn't mean you won't pay for what you've done. What the hell are you trying to pull? You're gonna get your boys to do fight me for you? Even when I've already been stabbed? How can you even think of coming at me in this state? Where are your fucking manners? You just worry about your own shit, old man. And leave my manners to me. You little bastard. Hi Jin, were you out with your friends this late? Don't you think you're gaming too much these days? I know it's fun, but don't stay out so late. Okay, go and get some rest. I will. Oh, and did you take the food to that nice man? I know you'll take care of it and all, but try to be extra nice to those men. Okay, I will. Teenage Mercenary 83. What is this boss? What is this, boss? Money for your grandma's surgery. What? But where'd you get so much money? It's not much. Barely enough to cover her surgery and medical bills. And let me know if you need more. I'm grateful for the gesture, sir, but I don't need this. The hell you don't. She's the one WHO raised you since you were little. I know you don't want to see her go without trying everything you can. She's your family. Let's do what we can while she's still with us. After all your help, I'm sorry, boss. You've got nothing to apologize for. She went peacefully, thanks to you. And she asked me to thank you in her last moments. I'm glad she went in peace. Evening, sir. Everything good? Yes, sir. I heard Mr. Cha is sleeping at a spa these days. Huh? What for? He went around borrowing money and even pulled the deposit on his apartment. Rumor has it that he lost it all gambling. But that doesn't make any sense. What kind of an idiot would dare to clean out Du Shik Cha? That's what I'd like to know. What are you doing here? Boss. What? What's the matter? You feeling alright? Should I get the nurse? I'm sorry, it's my fault that this happened to you. What are you talking about? After everything that you've done for me, you could have died. Tough luck, then. Hi on SEO. What are you saying things like that for, anyway? Drawing a line between us like we're not family or something. By the way, boss. You Ian. About that teenager. The kid? Yeah, him. I'm really glad you always tried to be nice to him. Huh? Turns out he's even better with a knife in his hand. Even better? Pardon me. You won't need to worry about them from now on. They'll be working on some matters for SW. All very legitimate and legal. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. It's the least I can do, after their help in rescuing Yona. I Jin. Let's go and game. Sorry. I have some other stuff to take care of today.
You do? Man, you're busy these days. Are you free today? Let's go. You brought me here for this? Yup. I took care of things just in time, thanks to your help. And that's why you suddenly wanted to treat me to dinner? And this ramen and triangle kimbap is your idea of dinner? Sure. It's priced reasonably and has plenty of calories for our daily intake. Can't argue with that. I thought something bad happened cause he looked so serious earlier. Excuse me. We were just wondering. Could we get your numbers? Teenage Mercenary 84. Our numbers? Yeah, I'm not. You're asking for the numbers for our smartphones? Uh, yeah. What for? Why do you want to know my phone number? Hold on. Sorry. He's not used to this kind of thing cause he lived abroad for a long time. Oh, okay. You could just turn them down instead of getting so defensive. What are you talking about? A complete stranger just asked for my contact information. WHO asked for what? Some girls from Jin Yi Girls High asked for our contacts. What? Was it those two girls WHO just ran that way? But one of them was Yi Su Cha, that famous K-pop trainee. So Yi Se Cha asked you for your contacts? And did you give them to her? No. What? What about you, Ai Jin? Of course not, you idiots. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. G-O-D-D-A-W-N it. I need something spicy to let off this steam. Me too. Hey, Ai Jin, what are you doing after school tomorrow? I'm gonna get permission to get out of school tomorrow to join Team 2 for training. I see. There's no training in the afternoon, though. Are you free in the afternoon? I don't have any plans at the moment. Then I'll stop by when your training is over. Okay. You're just in time, D.A. Yan. You won't believe what happened to Soju and your brother. A couple of Jin Yi High girls tried to get their contacts. Really? Sure thing. These two assholes were bragging about the whole. We didn't give them our numbers. We barely talked to them. Oh, I see. So, how'd it go? They were so much cuter up close. One of them was Soju, right? WHO was the other one? Dunno. He didn't give you his name or number, even when Yisu asked? They said they were never in that kind of situation before. They seemed too flustered, so we just left. Oh, who the hell does he think he is? Ai Jin and Soju didn't come today. And even Yo Na ran off as soon as school ended. She probably went to go see Ai Jin. Man, I wonder what it feels like to be good looking. And you'll always keep wondering in this life. You don't have to be so brutal, dude. Hey, guys. You mean us? Yeah. That's Yi Se Cha. Did Yi Su Chai really just talk to us? What can we do for Ya? That's more like it. My friends and I are going to a COINKA and wondering if you guys want to join. With you and your friends? Yup, there's three of us, too. I know he hangs around with these guys. So I'll get them to call him up after a few songs. We've got promo games lined up today. Excuse me? Man, what a bummer. But we gotta get that promo bump, right? Due to your efforts in Lewin's rescue, we've received several favorable contracts with his various projects. I called you in the hope of compensating you somehow for the great profit you generated for us. That won't be necessary. I was only doing my job as a NSW bodyguard. You've said that before, but the scale of corporate profit is far too great to overlook. It's only fair to compensate someone for actions benefiting the company so greatly. I'm just a trainee in SW's security department. The entire security detail worked the job and I just happened to finish it. 
If anyone should be compensated, it should be the entire security team. The security department will be receiving special incentives. We've just concluded that you deserve something extra for your distinguished services. That's not all, frankly. You saved Yo Na and Ji Yi. I haven't been able to thank you properly since you keep declining. But I cannot continue to overlook your hard efforts. I'm going to have to decline. I understand, but have you considered how helpful it would be for your family? What I'm offering isn't some gratuitous, illicit thing. It's proper payment for services you provided. Take some time to consider it first. Teenage Mercenary 85 I just don't understand what he's thinking, sir. He sent quite a hefty sum to the town he stayed in during his mercenary years, didn't he? Yes, sir. It's all been done anonymously. But it would seem that he sent millions to fund the town's reconstruction. Which would amount to basically everything he earned as a mercenary. But I can't determine why he would spend the money he risked his life for on that town. Well, at the very least. It shows us that he didn't do it all for the money. Are you coming from the chairman's office? Yes. I think I know why he wanted to see you. You're in for a treat. The company made a sizable profit thanks to you. I turned it down. What? Why in the world would you do that? You don't even know how much he's offering you. Ah, this is infuriating. You really have no idea how the world works. You're not supposed to pass up a thing like that. He was waiting for the chance to thank you and... I'm okay. Sure you are. I'll talk to the chairman again. You just stay put. I overestimated how mature you are. Still a naive KID, that's what. Okay, listen up. We're wrapping up early today for a company dinner. But no alcohol allowed, on account of our two minors. Yes, sir. Eat up, I Jin. We all got big bonuses, thanks to you. I've never gotten such a big bonus before. Me neither. I did a double take when I saw the amount on my bank account. Come on, boys. I Jin's plate is almost empty. This one looks J-U-I-C-Y, I Jin. Don't worry, we're grilling a bunch just for him over here. Have some of this while you wait. You understand, don't you? I don't understand how he can be so popular with the men when he hardly ever speaks. Hey, I J I N, have you eaten yet? Yeah, we had a company dinner. A company dinner? Sounds like real adult stuff. Grandpa's not home yet? Yeah, he said he's running a bit later than usual. That must be him. Welcome back, Grandpa. Grandpa, what's the matter? Are you hurt? I pulled my back a little while helping a resident with some bags. It wasn't even anything heavy. Let's hurry and get you into bed. I'll bring you a heating pad. Don't worry and go to bed, you too. It's nothing serious, really. Still. I'll stay with him. You go on. Okay. I'll just stay for a little bit. You should go to bed too, I Jin. I should have taken better care of myself. Now I've made you too worry. Have you considered how helpful it would be for your family? Is your job hard on you? I wouldn't call it easy, I guess. Would you rather not be working? Oh, no. It's not that bad, and there's no such thing as an easy job. I'm just grateful to be able to work at my age. But why do you ask? I Jin, are you worried about our financial situation? Don't you worry about things like that. I've worked hard and saved up enough for Dalyan's college tuition and for when she gets married. And I'm gonna send you to college, and support you for as long as you need until you can stand on your own feet. Plus, you know that we have the insurance money from your parents, don't you? Oh, right, that money is saved for you too when you start living on your own. Because, I want to support you too with the money that I make, at least until you live on your own. Which means, you have nothing to worry about. You got that, I Jin? Yes, Grandpa. Have you given it some thought? My answer is the same as before. What I'm offering will be a great financial help to your family. 
not something to turn down so casually. I'm told your grandfather is quite far along his years. My grandfather wants to provide for me and my sister within his own means. And I'd like to respect his wishes. You have a fine grandfather, Ai Jin. I didn't think he knew how to smile. Teenage Mercenary 86 Who is H.E., and why is he coming out of there? I'll look into it, sir. Yan Ho is here? Yes, we heard quite late as it was a sudden detour. He's currently speaking with the chairman. It's not like this is a bad proposition for you. And it'll definitely give you an advantage over Yan Ho. Why the sudden visit? You were headed to Japan the last I heard. Things resolved rather nicely and I no longer needed to be there. I had a few days free, as well as some matters to attend to here. Are things coming along with your new projects? I heard there was some interference. There's always some interference, big or small. And more so on any new enterprise in the beginning. Sure, but I did hear some ridiculous things as well. Of Yo Na and Jia getting kidnapped, for instance. I'd hope the various SW sectors tending to the family would be more capable. We can't quite run the business with peace of mind like this, can we? I apologize, sir. BNO need to dwell on the settled past. We managed to sort it out well enough. Of course I trust in your assessment, sir. My grandfather wants to provide for me and my sister within his own means. And I'd like to respect his wishes. I was able to identify the man we saw earlier, sir. Who is he? He recently joined as a security team trainee. A bodyguard trainee? Having private audience with the chairman? He's in MS, Yona's homeroom, along with Soju Ko. The company is making exceptions for his rescue of MS, Yona during her recent kidnap. Still, to just bring him into SW security like that? A high school kid, no less. It seems he's rather capable, sir. He played an integral part in M.S. G.E.'s rescue. As well as in the apprehension of Lewin Bailey's attacker during his recent visit. As a result, S.W. made a great profit through a recent deal with the Bailey Group. Sounds like he's not incompetent. Also, glance there's a rumor that M.S. Yo Na has a crush on him. That's it for today, boys. Well done. Good job, guys. Ai Jin, are you meeting the boys too, at the game room later? Then let's go together. I'll wait for you. Yo Na. What, Yang Ho? How have you been? Gee good. Hello, sir. So Ju Ko. Turns out Yo Na can get kidnapped even when you're right there next to her. I allowed for you to guard her because you're rather skilled for your age, not so you could M.A. Makes me question why S.W. has been supporting you for all these years. I apologize, sir. Why are you saying things like that, Yan Ho? This is precisely what happens when you just smile and play nice, Yo Na. It wasn't so Ju's fault, sir. As team leader, I am accountable. I apologize, sir. Yan Ho let's just leave it and go. It's been so long, we should get something to eat. That's Yo Na's cousin. He's also M.S. G. Yi Shin's older brother. He runs a subsidiary of SW that's based overseas, which is what keeps him there usually. He's also the person Yo Na fears most. this chapter folks i'm concluding the video right here stay tuned for the thrilling developments in the next episode and don't forget to show your support with a like and subscribe fueling my motivation to bring you even more captivating comic chapters in the future
until next time, happy reading.